Good morning, everyone. Chris Weiser here again from Tech Squad IT. I am the CEO of Tech Squad IT here in the Milwaukee area. And our webinar today is going to be on how to turn your conference room into a collaboration room using the MondoPad. I have with us our guest uh, panelist from InFocus Corporation. Her name is Abby Rath. Thanks for joining us, Abby. Thank you, everyone. And we have a question already. We have a hi, Chris and Abby from, from a viewer. Hi, good morning. Nice to see you. We'll keep going. Just give you some quick facts about uh, Tech Squad IT. And uh, we have a pretty full webinar today. Um, so we're not going to be taking any questions until the end, but feel free to raise your hand uh, and put a question in if you want to. I do have my assistant, Natalie, monitoring, and uh, she'll be looking at that. So we'll give a couple quick uh, questions. We'll last uh, about 45 minutes or so, um, maybe a little bit less, depending on how fast I talk, which sometimes I talk a lot, so we'll see. Uh, so just give some quick facts on TechSquad IT. We were incorporated in 2004, and we are a small business computer specialist. We support over 200 clients, mostly, actually, pretty much all business clients in the Wisconsin and Illinois area. Uh, we manage over 1,500 PC servers and MondoPads on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, we acquired another firm in 2008, along with their staff and customer base, and uh, we're also certified by multiple people, including InFocus, who's not on that list. I should probably add that, huh, Evie? Yes, please. And uh, some quick facts about me. Uh, I'm the CEO of Tech Squad IT. I also have two other companies, MSP Leads and VAR Contracts. Uh, they are kind of uh, MSP. MSP is a managed service provider for you, those of you that are not in the tech world but um, or not in the MSP world. But um, we provide telemarketing services and then also contract services, similar to like LegalZoom. That's what my other two companies do for the uh, IT community. I became the sole owner of Tech Squad IT in late 2011. I have over 15 years of management experience in IT. I co-authored a book, book entitled Small Business Owner's Guide to Stress-Free Network Support. That book is actually on Amazon and iTunes, so feel free to look at that. It's out there. And uh, I was the Technology Marketing Toolkit, two times Genius of the Month, once I think in 2010, and then uh, most recently here in February of 2012, so that was kind of cool. Um, I was on the cover, cover of VSR Magazine in 2012, and also I was one of the SMB 150 Most Influential IT Executives for 2012. So that's enough about me. Uh, today's guest, Abby Rath from InFocus Corporation. She is the MondoPad Sales Specialist. Abby, do you want to tell us a little bit about yourself? Absolutely. Um, as Chris mentioned, I'm the Product Sales Specialist, and I'm headquartered here in our Portland, Oregon corporate office for InFocus. Um, you probably know the InFocus name. We've been in the projector space for 25 years. And last year, last June, we launched the MondoPad, and the MondoPad brings together all the tools that you use in the conference room and the classroom that you really use most, kind of the best of the best of those pieces. So as you can imagine, uh, my phone has not stopped ringing about great questions about the MondoPad, so we're going to cover some of that today about how you can turn your conference room into a true collaboration room. All right. Well, thanks, Abby. How's, uh, how's Portland today? Uh, the high about 80 degrees. So oh, that's better than here. Right? Oregon, <laughs> that's very unusual for us to have such. Yeah, that's weather. that's gorgeous. I think it's going to be. Let me look at my phone here. It's supposed to be uh, high of 63 with rain today. So we'll see. I don't know. It's sunny and blue sky right now. So I don't know. So we'll get started into the presentation. And um, basically, what we want to do to start out is for you to say hello to the Mondo Pad. Uh, the Mondo Pad is the centerpiece in the conference room of the future. It's a giant 55-inch tablet used to present, annotate, and collaborate in the conference room, boardroom, and around the world. And it's also a single device used to visually present, capture, and share ideas through touch. Something that's pretty interesting about this is I am sitting in front of our Mondo Pad in our TechSquad IT conference room right now. I'm doing this entire webinar from our Mondo Pad. I do all of our webinars from this Mondo Pad. Um, and I'm running go to go to meeting or go to webinar on the Mondo Pad, and I'm literally sitting five feet from it talking to it. So there's no telephone involved here. I'm talking to the mic and speakers on the Mondo Pad. So you can see we use it on a day-to-day -day basis just for things like this. It's become just a phenomenal tool for us, and I think um, I have some uh, clients and some MSP friends that are also on this webinar that uh, have seen me do some of these things. So it's a great opportunity for you to, use, to not only use it in your business, but to actually use it to sell things with your clients as well. So we'll keep going here. Um, 
Abby, do you have anything to add to that? Um, yeah, actually, I, I do. You know, as Chris mentioned, he uses the Mondo Pad every day, and that's really what we designed it around. Is that it? When you look into the conference room, you see things like dry erase boards, maybe an easel with paper, maybe you see a projector in the ceiling. Hopefully, it's ours. You know, maybe you've even invested in video conferencing equipment, but you have all these pieces. And they're all very specific or single use. And that's what the Mondopad is all about, is bringing together all those pieces to kind of clean up the, class, the classroom or the conference room to, to bring it all together. Yep, I totally agree with that. It's been, it's been really good for us. Um, and we, we have a lot of clients that are doing multiple things. So, so multiple things that you can connect with are, on the left side of this slide, the document cameras, audio, different types of software, whether it's teaching software, whether it's Skype or Microsoft Office. You can also use voting systems in a bigger collaboration environment. You can use external speakers. The Monopad does come with the sound bar that you can see right above the feet. That is a separate sound bar. That is a, how many watt is that, Abby? It's pretty, it's pretty big. That's actually a 50 watt sound bar. So when you want to play those videos or YouTube clips or digital signage, you're covered. Oh, and it works. It works fantastic for that. We actually Watch. We have a, a cable box hooked up to ours and a, and a Xbox 360 that we just port around in our office and we play video games on it too. I'll be really excited when they actually have the, uh, the touch capability with the video games because then I'll, I'll really be happy about it. But um, You can also add the, the iGlobes, the remotes feature, and any type of app as well. So all of those things kind of come together. What's important to remember about the Mondopad is it also has touch capability. Uh, you can control the applications with whiteboard and annotation. And I'll, I'll get into some of this in our actual demo, and you can save that content and email it. Abby, is that the back of your head? That is actually the back of my head. Uh, <laughs> nothing like working at a, a company like this where you come in one day and guess what? We're going to shoot a video. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I put that in there just to just to get just, just to, to get you. Of course you did. Yep. Of course you did. So uh, you, you know the touch. A really good point a moment ago. Chris, I'm sorry to interrupt. Oh, that's fine. Go ahead. You mentioned that you have a digital cable box connected. The Monopad mm -hmm. has all the usual inputs that you would expect, dual HDMI, component, composite. So yes, you can use it with a digital cable box, a Blu-ray player. You can plug in even a laptop with a VGA cable right to it and use it as a larger display device. Yeah, it, it works really, really well. Um, something that we've actually done, I, I'll get into this a little bit as we go, but um, we have a wide eye device, wireless display, we have in our conference room, next to our training room, um, we have a little training room with a projector in it, and we broadcast from the Mondopad using a wireless display device over to the projector, which actually projects on a wall into our room. It goes about 40 feet. Uh, I think our, you know, we're like 15 feet away from that specific spot, but it really, really works well and uh, allows us to have multiple points of broadcast and, and publication, so it's great. And then you can actually really use the, the touch integration <coughs> for the collaboration and the annotation, so that works really well. So to get into what the actual Mondopad is made of, it has an integrated PC. It's built around standard industry-leading technology. It's got an I uh, Intel i5 processor. It does have Intel vPro support, which allows us to manage and, and boot the machine to do updates on demand does have Windows 7 Pro on board and also has Office 2010 on board. And that PC actually slides into a dock right behind. It's on board with the, with the panel. So a lot of people are like, oh, do you, where's, this is really a computer? Yeah, it's actually a PC with wireless built in. And uh, it's, it's very easy to manage and update. Um, Abby, feel free to chime in on that one. Well, you know, I, I always like to point out to people that this is not a stripped down version of the Microsoft products. The Mondopad ships with the full license key of the Windows 7 Pro and Office 2010. So it's going to support all the documents you're already using with the Microsoft. Um, and as Chris mentioned, that, that PC is completely integrated. So if you do ever need a service upgrade, it can be swapped out very easily. Yeah. It, and, and I think that's uh, something that you and I were talking about in the last couple of days was uh, a big factor is that this is a, basically a one-time purchase device that's going to support multiple upgrades. Can you talk about that a little bit? Absolutely. And that's one of the pieces that I think is harder to explain until you kind of see it in person. But with the hardware of the Mondopad, you essentially get to future-proof. And if you think about you know, all the different pieces of hardware we own. I'm the person that bought the very first Kindle, and it is exactly that. It is still the very mm -hmm. first Kindle. With the Mondopad and that open architecture, you get the 
ability to update as new software comes out. At the Consumer Electronics Show in January, it was hosted in Las Vegas this year, there are all kinds of great software that's coming out later this year and early next. So why limit yourself to whatever is available right now? With the Monopad, you can keep adding the software that's most important to you. So you really, it just kind of comes back to, this is a piece of hardware that's going to let you future-proof and customize for yourself. Yeah, that's great. Did you think about the very first Kindle, like the very first one ever purchased? The very first one ever. I was actually on a waiting list. And, uh, oh, that's amazing. An obscene uh, amount of money for it. And it's exactly that. It is still the very first Kindle. There are truly no updates for it. And uh, in fact, I could load my Kindle software onto the Mondo Pad. Oh, that's I uploaded my iTunes. Yeah, and actually, I, I, I know we actually have um, Google Chrome, which is a browser. We loaded that on this device. And we actually have been able to play, like, uh, Angry Birds and a, a couple other apps through touch on this device. It's been fantastic for that. So, um, sure. I recommend Fruit Ninja. Yeah, we have Fruit Ninja also. In fact, I don't, did you ever see that we had a, we actually had the Monopad at a trade show, a school trade show, and we had a Monopad contest during the entire show, of which uh, we were giving away an iPad too. And at that contest, it was basically the whole mentality was who can get the highest score in Fruit Ninja. And it's all, I, I have some really video great. of it, so I should probably put that up somewhere. Uh, but it's, it's a pretty cool little video. We actually had people waiting in line all day <laughs> to play Fruit Ninja on our stupid Monopad. So it was great. That's exactly what it's about. The software that you use most is now optimized for touch. Imagine like never having to calibrate. There are a lot of types of boards out there in the market that have their specific software loaded on it. Now that you can peel those out, imagine never having to calibrate a Monopad. It's pretty exciting. Agreed. Agreed. So uh, Monopad also, you know, since it's got Windows 7 Pro on it, it's really, really cool because you can put, you know, any program that you can put on a PC, you can put on the Monopad, and it has then touch integration as well. So, and I'll show some of this when I do the little demo that I'm going to do at the end here, but uh, full integration with Office 2010, any type of teaching software, Splashtop is a remote control software for the iPad and Android devices, um, document cameras, smart technology. Smart technology is for the school environment. They have what are called smart boards. Anybody that has kids in middle or, or grade school or high school knows what a smart board is. Um, so all those software products work in the, with the Monopad out of the box. So uh, Abby, any thoughts on that? Absolutely. Um, a lot of people in the small to medium business, I know we use products like Visio. Um, it's really nice to use Visio products on a, a Mondo pad because then they're all optimized for touch and make them really easy to use. So whatever specific to your business, your school, your company um, can definitely be loaded right on there. Yep. And uh, we actually use the Mondo pad during our customer presentations. When we have a customer to our office, we use it fully integrated. We have customer meetings here to where we will do Skype. Uh, one of our programmers we actually have Skype meetings with him and the clients that we work with over the Monopad, and it's you know it's like he's really here because except his head's bigger because so, he's on, mm -hmm. on a inch screen. So, uh, and also you know that kind of gets around to the video conferencing side. So like I said, I'm doing this webinar right from the Monopad today, so it has full GoToMeeting support, full Skype support, um, full. In fact, uh, I do video calls with Abby at her desk. You have a Polycom or you, know, you have a Tanberg video phone, right? Right. I have a Tamburg Cisco video phone. The model's called the E20, and it kind of looks like a, a VoIP phone that you'd have on your desk, but it's got a about a 6x7, 6x9 screen on the top. And um, the Monopad is a SIP device. And for those of you who speak the video conferencing language, SIP devices um, like the Monopad can talk to other SIP devices. So you're not limited anymore to just talking one brand to one brand. The Mondopad works in a full ecosystem of different types of devices, like Chris has listed here. Um, yes, you can fully integrate it with Microsoft Link. And then all the big players, too, like LifeSize, Cisco, um, Tamburg, Polycom, all of those are available to you, too. Yeah, I know. It's funny. I was actually at uh, in Washington, D.C. this past fall, and I went to our, I had a meeting with our senator, uh, the Wisconsin State Senator, Herb Cole. And in his office was a Cisco device. And I was like, oh, that's cool that you have that there. And he was like, you know, I never use that damn thing. We, you know, the only people we can talk to is other senators, and why do I want to talk to them? <laughs> it just kind of was funny to me because this eliminates that issue because there's not anybody with any type of video 
if I have somebody, the only thing that we can't talk to, which I know is in the works, is uh, the FaceTime with Apple and iPhone and iPad, which to me is really annoying because I would really like to talk to somebody on, on FaceTime over that. So instead of that, we have to do Skype over the iPad. But I can do Skype over the iPad, a video call, to somebody in China, and I can talk to them one-to-one, -one, no issues, without any special software other than Skype. WebEx, the same thing. Uh, we do get, go to meeting with the HD faces. It works really, really well. So, and as you can see, I'm actually doing this this video, uh, the webinar right now, right from the Mondo Pad. So it's working as well. So, all right. I'm gonna click here. I'm not doing a very good job hosting. So something else that we do is, is you can engage your employees and your clients anywhere. They can either be in the room locally, um, and you can use all the different MondoPad apps, which I'll go through shortly, or you can use those global applications between locations. Uh, we have, I'll, I'll give you an example of a client testimonial type scenario. We have a customer, they are a large national uh, retailer, uh, I shouldn't say they're a retailer, but they actually make promotional products. Uh, Miller, Miller Brewing is one of their customers, for example, and Harley and some of the other ones. They have six locations, one of them in China. They bought six Mondo Pads from us, and they connect all of those through the Mondo Pad software, uh, which is a Vidtel. It's basically a cloud-type software that they can then talk back and forth. They can have meetings. So they actually put a Mondo Pad in every one of their conference rooms in their six locations, and they can now talk with no additional cost other than a Skype account or a Vidtel account, which comes basically it comes with their product subscription from us. And it's worked so well for them because they can connect to anybody anywhere. And it, they, they are like elated happy about it. In fact, we're doing a, a little video engagement with them very shortly here um, to just have them kind of show what their experience has been. So Abby, any thoughts on that? You know, I think you touched on a really good point here that, um, you know, as we get more and more travel savvy, we want to make decisions in real time. And I tell people this, this one thing is that you don't schedule ideas. Ideas come to you. You schedule things like sales meetings and annual conferences and conventions, but you don't schedule ideas. And when you have the ability to dial another location anywhere in the world, and collaborate and share your idea. That's how decisions are getting made. That's what video conferencing brings to your office, is that ability to make those decisions and not be waiting on the downtime of airports and scheduling those maybe twice annual meetings, but being able to come together when it's right for you. That's what the video conferencing piece really does. Yeah, and it really allows for people. It's amazing what the difference of a video call does versus a telephone call. Um, we see this all the time because we're doing demo calls with Abby and the InFocus team a pretty good amount, at least two to three times a week we're doing this. And just to be able to have them, you see the look on their face just when somebody has a video call with somebody and they're like, wow, that's a lot different than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, I mean, I told you it's going to be just like a real, like you're talking to the person in the next room. It's it's crazy good. And uh, the Monopad's got full HD cameras on. It's a full HD 720p camera with multi-directional microphones, so I can walk across the room and still have a, a very good quality phone call or video call with that person on the other end. So, And uh, what, a couple other features that are really, really cool is you can share, view, and control that content either in the room. Um, I could, being on the same iPhone, I have my iPhone sitting next to me or my iPad, uh, InFocus has a MondoPad app on the Apple App Store. Is there one on the Android App Store too? Yes, there is. Okay, so there's one on the Android App Store as well. Um, you can connect over, whether you're on the same network or whether you're remoted in via VPN or if done properly, we can do it so you can actually sit at any location anywhere and connect and actually control that content. And actually, con So you could actually be in California, or Abby could be in Portland and actually control the content in a meeting with me right now and control this without go to meeting. She could control the entire environment just using the standalone Mondopad apps, or she can actually, I could give her control and she could run the entire presentation from where she's at right now. And it's basically platform independent. Android, iPhone, or, or iOS, I should say, uh, Mac or PC works across the board. And it works really, really well, as you can see. Now, this is a kind of a gleaming testimonial for what the whole process is because I'm running this entire environment right from the monopad. Uh, have any thoughts? 
I, I talk uh, to them. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> exactly. The it's not brand specific. Um, if you can just open up a browser on any of those smart devices, your tablets, your PCs, even your phone, you can actually control and share that content. So no more downtime. You're stuck in traffic. You know, maybe you send your presentation to the Mondo Pad. You can assign it an email address, or actually Chris can set up your email address for your Mondo Pad, and then you can send your documents right to it. But the great thing is you can open them out on the road. You don't have to be in the room anymore. So the conference room is now uh, wherever you are. Yeah, I totally agree. I just had a question come up from one of our users. <laughs> Why don't you turn on the camera so we can see your scruffy face? Um, <laughs> no comment. And I'm not that scruffy today. I did. Sh I think I shaved yesterday. But um, we, I would do that except uh, go to go to meeting, go to webinar. It doesn't have the best streaming video quality, so we want to keep it down to static images. Otherwise, I, I would do that for you. Uh, Tom that asked that question. So, uh, okay, we'll keep going on. Uh, this kind of gets on to the why die discussion I was using before, um, and I'll probably let Abby take this one a little bit. But one of the the factors of this is you can have a projector in a room without cables. You can connect wirelessly to that projector via wireless display or why die, and it opens up a massive world of possibilities for you. Abby, go ahead and take that. I know you're you're extremely good at that specific factor. You know, I, I love this piece because um, the the true thing about the MondoPad is that it's a 55-inch full 1080p display. And we designed that size because it's a real size for a presenter to interact with. And when you're standing up there and you're touching the MondoPad and you're launching your presentation, and maybe you're annotate on, annotating on it and coming up with great ideas, you now have the ability to make that image as large as you need. Because let's face it, 55 inches is a great size. But it's not really going to show well for 500 people in an auditorium. And the way that we have come up with a great workaround is the ability to connect it to that wide-eye system. And then digitally and in full HD, transmit the MondoPad image to a projector. Now, I always like to say that it's an focus projector, but it's not even brand specific. It can be any projector that you already own, and you can make that image as big as that projector can handle. So now you have a presenter that can interact with the Mondo Pad up on stage, up on the podium, and then blast it out to the projector as big as you need to be. So you're not limited anymore. Yeah. I Again, think, kind of that open architecture, architecture gets to connect to all those great devices. Yeah. You know, I, what I was going to say to that is that, you know, I think all of us have been to a big, giant auditorium room with four or 500 people on it where they have the big screens on each side or halfway through the, the hall and you're watching, and this person typically we'll start drawing on a whiteboard or just one of those tearaway uh, plain white notepads that are like two feet by three feet and you can't see anything until the camera zooms in on the screen and sees it. Just think about if they could integrate this into, into their entire presentation, it changes the entire way you present, which is uh, absolutely phenomenal. So, okay, um, again, Great for the boardroom, great for the office. You can you can see how there's an integration on the boardroom on the left. You can do that. You can have a project up on the screen simultaneously. We could actually make it so you can walk right up to that projector and work it, or you can project it in the office as well. Uh, and everything you need to present, annotate, collaborate, all in one single tablet. Again, this is a 55-inch touchscreen PC slash tablet. Um, people. I'm not a big fan of saying tablet because for some reason people keep think they ask me when I'm walking around talking to them. So I have to carry it? Really? <laughs> it's <laughs> it's a TV basically on a stand. It's 55 inches. It's an LCD display. Um, but we say tablet because you can actually write on the screen. So it's fully touch capable with, with video conferencing, windows, and everything on board. So uh, we have a testimony that are basically a good example of an end user that's on the large side is Harvard University, one of the world's top-ranked and most famous universities, and they use MondoPad to expand and enhance Harvard's distance learning. And a quote from John Walker, the Harvard IT uh, manager, is basically, we chose MondoPad because it provides flexibility within existing current infrastructure and it's a quick learning curve for professors and staff. That quick learning curve is a major factor for me because one thing everybody in the business world knows is Windows. The second thing everybody knows is Office. And when you can go into their environment, give them a Windows 7 PC that you can add some software to, and boom, it goes right into your environment, and it's basically zero learning curve, it changes everything. 
Uh, any thoughts on that from you, Abby? Well, just imagine the first time that you, you got a smarter phone. Remember when you have to, used to have to read a manual to operate your cell phone, and maybe there were all these instructions, and now you, know, you just walk into the, the phone store, you buy it, you leave, you charge it, and you're good to go. And that's really what we base the Mondopad applications on. They are full-size apps, and you just click. And it's a very intuitive device. There is not any type of you know, ongoing training. Um, there's a lot of you know, other devices out there that want to sell you on hours and hours and hours of training. And Mondopad doesn't like that. It was really designed um, to bring together all the things that you use, the view and share folder. This is what you're going to use when you send documents to the Mondopad. Or maybe you're going to use one of the USB inputs. There's a full browser experience optimized for touch. There's a great whiteboarding app. We'll get into that a little bit later. There's, of course, video conferencing. And then there are all of these other things like scheduling, um, the extras where you can load those third-party apps so they actually live right on the home screen of the Mondopad. So those are all there, too. It's, it's really about being intuitive and making it easy and fun to use. I mean, let's face it. It's a, it's a giant, beautiful 55-inch TV. And uh, optimized for touch, you walk right up to it, and it reacts. Yeah, it, it is fun to use, actually. I'm glad you said that, because it's a, it's a major fun point for us. We do a lot of fun things on it. Uh, another, another testimonial uh, from John Carroll University. Now, those of you that are here in the Milwaukee area, this is not Carroll University that we have here. It's John Carroll University. Where are they based, Abby? I forget. Uh, John Carroll is located in, I believe, South Carolina. Okay. Yeah, so pr pretty, uh, pretty similar. But uh, they're one of the top private universities in the U.S., and uh, they're using it in their communications department, and it replaced a $12,000 Tanberg system to deliver speech to a room of people in other locations. And that's a big, big variable. It provides a flexibility for the education department. They can replace smart boards. That's something else we're doing in a lot of schools in the Milwaukee and just Wisconsin area, is we're going into schools and replacing the smart board with a mobile smart board. One of the factors that the schools run into is they have to buy a smart board for every room and not only does it come with a smart board which is a whiteboard that you can actually basically kind of write on and it integrates it into windows but you have to have a projector along with that you have to have a pc along with that this takes all that and puts it into one device you can go from room to room with a mobile stand and it really changes how things work because instead of having to buy 20 smart boards you can buy maybe five and then five mondo pads and you can have the basically the educators move the smart board around as needed, or the mobile smart board as a monopad as needed. The same software will run just like it does on, on the smart board PCs because it's a separate PC. It runs on the Windows 7 PC and the monopad just like it would run on the smart board PC. And then also the athletic department is using it for their coaches and teams. I actually was watching ESPN the other day and I saw a monopad in use at ESPN, which to me was like, hey, there's a monopad at ESPN. How awesome is that? And um, you can do an analysis uh, you can view and analyze game film, tape. You can write on that. has that, all that annotation. All those things that the, uh, the TV people have been using in sports and, and weather for years and years and years. All those things are good. It's a massively versatile unit, and the price point is great. Uh, and I, I agree with both those comments on the bottom. So, Abby, any comments on that, or, or are you good? Yeah. Actually, I'd like to touch on two things. The, um, the $12,000 Tamper system, uh, if you know a little bit about video conferencing. You know they are very single use, and usually one, maybe two people in your entire company know even how to operate the thing. And as as Chris pointed out, the senator doesn't really even like to use his video conferencing system because it's complicated, and probably it only talks to other types of Hamburg devices. And you know, if you buy a video conferencing system five years from now, that's exactly what it still is. It still does that that single use, and that's kind of what we're getting away from. Um, you know, everything has to do multiple uses. You wouldn't settle for a cell phone that only made calls anymore. And it, it's kind of the same platform. Everything needs to be that multi-use. So yeah, twelve thousand dollars is a it is an inexpensive uh, Hamburg system because if you start pricing them, they start at about eight and can spend half a million dollars in a blink. It is a uh, a very big enterprise market that they go after. And what we're trying to do is, is bring the best of all those pieces in a real price range. I'll say this, I never even considered any type of video conferencing system, let alone something that would do all those things together, and now we have one, we're on the verge of buying our second one, it's that good. Um, so it's, it's mm -hmm. pretty cool. So um, basically the pitch 
uh, is collaborate with a method your staff is already used to. This would be pitching it to your staff or internally uh, for those of you that are watching that are, are clients of ours. Uh, collaborate with a method your staff's already used to and then you add technology. The whiteboard factor, adding with technology, you can annotate over the top of documents and save them to email when done. We'll go over a little bit of that. Open software platform, you can use any software you want as long as it's Windows compatible. Um, that, that's tremendous. I mean, we put all kinds of things on this. Um, you're not restricted to anything which is tied to a specific hardware platform. Also, open hardware integrates easily with any Windows compatible hardware. I have uh, my jump drive plugged into this device right now, so we'll go through that in a little bit. But MondoPad comes with a camera. You can upgrade your camera and put a better camera on if you wanted to. Uh, am I correct on that, Evie? That's true. Um, the MonoPad camera is actually connected via USB, as is the microphone. So mm -hmm. if you want to make the investment in a pan, tilt, zoom camera that kind of follows you around the room, uh, PTZ is kind of the, the acronym for that. Yes, you could definitely plug something like that in. You could even use an external microphone system if you have a very large conference room and you want to do maybe a chat 150, you, you know, two or three of them down the conference room table. You can do that as well. Yeah, it works great for that. Uh, we, we plug all kinds of stuff into it. I know uh, our uh, Xbox 360 is a good example. Uh, we do that for game night when we have mm -hmm. that here at the office. Um, video conferencing is super, super easy. It integrates very easily with any IP video phone. You can bring in virtual guest speakers. You can have remote meetings. You can work on it with Skype. You can have uh, Google Talk, various different products. You can also have your staff follow you virtually on screen from pretty much anywhere they are. Um, and it's a great, great for the conference room. We have it in our conference room. Again, we use it every single day. We have all of our staff meetings on it. Um, it's very affordable. You can easily conduct the virtual meetings with the clients and the prospects. Um, and you can see you can run webinars from it, which is something I use it for on a regular basis as well. And it's very easy to support, easy to service, and future ready. You can upgrade it affordably. Um, and then included with every purchase from us, we have uh, basically unlimited support software. Uh, our unlimited support with our help desk is included with the product. So it makes it pretty pretty easy to, to do. And then on the education side, there's really strong interest from that education market. Gives you remote viewing for, particip for participation in large rooms, video conferencing for your distance learning, performance-based learning, interactive technology keeps the students engaged. That's kind of where the voting systems come into play. If you have a large room or a large area and you want people to basically your staff to vote on it, it's kind of the, uh, well, I think some of those game shows kind of inter integrate some of those things, but it's the same me methodology as the game shows kind of idea. Um, then it's easy for any student or teacher to use, and any IT groups in the school environment, they really like the Windows 7 platform with Office, and it comes built in on each one, fully licensed. So uh, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to kind of go through a demo. Um, so I'm going to go through a couple of different features. Abby, I'm going to just start talking. If you have something that you want to say, just butt in. And, uh, okay. and we'll go ahead and talk. So you can see right here, I'm going to actually bounce out of uh, PowerPoint. And I'm going to minimize that for me here. Um, i got to figure out how to do it. So I'm going to minimize that. And uh, we're going to come up to the MondoPad screen and right to the MondoPad homepage. And you can see I'm clicking with a, uh, the MondoPad does come with a mouse and a keyboard as well as has full touch. So right now is the MondoPad homepage. You can see that we've customized our wallpaper. Uh, which you can do. You can customize wallpaper. And uh, you can talk about the, basically, we'll go through uh, each one of these. Now I'm going to start touching this so I will get a little bit closer to the device. Uh, so if my voice gets a little bit loud, I apologize. I'll try and talk quiet, but I'm like within a foot of the device now. So um, this is full touch here. We're touching on the getting started button on the bottom left corner. And you can see how people can actually present a file with MondoPad. They can use the USB key, which I have on the right side. It's plugged in. Um, you can use the VGA HDMI cables. You can also go on the MondoPad broadcasts, the uh, MondoPad broadcasts Wi-Fi, and you can see we have our MondoPad guest 187 network. If I was to pull up my iPhone, it would actually show the MondoPad guest 187 network. People can connect to that, or they can scan it with a QR reader. That's the scan on the on the bottom right there, and they can connect to that device with the QR code. It's got all the settings, or uh, people can come in on the LAN. Or they can also come in. Uh, we have a uh, an opened port on our firewall that people can come in remotely. And then 8940 is the access code. And if you see up on the top right, um, kind of the very top, or sorry, top left of the screen, you can see the uh, IP address of the local device. 
and I can set that code to be anything I want. And uh, people can actually scan that QR code as well. And then I'm touching on uh, remote connections. I don't have this set up exactly, but you can also share a whiteboard with another monopad on the same network. So you could have VPNs across the LANs and be able to see each other as long as you're on the same subnet. You can see each other across basically from anywhere. And you can collaborate on the whiteboards. So on the view and share, basically you can see on the, on the left here, I have my Kingston jump drive plugged in. I have different things that are in here. Um, you can see some of my different monopad decks. I have our presentations and things here. It's, it opens things no different than any other application. And I can go in there and look at different things. This is actually a, a copy of the Office 2010 software. That's from the IT guy in me screaming out. But I can view that just like normal. I can actually go back to my home. Um, if you look at the very top of the screen, you'll see the email to techsquadmondopad at gmail.com. We have an email address tied to this, and then we can email things right in, and this is how it shows up. So you can see where things are being emailed in to Chris Weiser at MSP Leads. You can see that I clicked on that, and I emailed it in. It's a social media explain thing. This is actually this is quite funny, but um, kind of talks about different types of social media and, and how it works. <laughs> it's actually I love this video so or this little this little screen thing so um, and then you can just use this you can either annotate on it so if I wanted to choose the annotation option and I'm touching on this so I can either use the highlighter and I can annotate on it if I wanted to that's me with my finger writing right on it um, or I can actually annotate inside of the device or, or draw in it and then do certain things like this and then if I wanted to email it, I can email it on the bottom left, or I can just close it, and it'll say, okay, you're going to lose that, blah, blah, blah. That's closing the annotation, and then I'm back to my main screen. So that's, uh, that's a great way of exampling basically how you can, or explaining how you can use any type of a USB device or a, an email device to get in. Uh, the Monopad also has a full web browser that comes built in. You can go to any different pages. You can view things you want. That's the... Uh, in focus page, here comes our Mondopad page. That's our website. So full web browser built in. I can either use the keyboard and the mouse for it, or I can use my finger. And a virtual keyboard will come up. So you'll see this, and I can actually put these different things in here. I can use this in backspace or change things as I want. That's great. Can Whiteboard. I favorites right down there. Um, I just want to interrupt really quick. You can add all your favorite websites down there. And at the very bottom, you can kind of see the little green, bottom left-hand side, there's a green plus. And you can keep adding tabs to it. So you can have several browser sessions open at one time. So you, you yeah, can, exactly um, what you're there. I have them be on your company website and then switch to a cloud-based learning platform. Maybe you have a HR training that you want to broadcast, and you can keep switching back and forth. So. If I can type, you know, see. So you can go to, as Abby's saying, you can go to different ones here at the same time. I have the Monopad page up. I have my Google page up. Various different things back and forth. So we'll take a look at the whiteboarding feature. And whiteboarding feature is very similar to what I was just doing. Um, you can pick a color. And I'm actually using a, now this is, what's, what's interesting about the Monopad is it's not a capacitive screen. Uh, the iPad and the iPhone are capacitive screens which means you actually have an electrical current running, you know, humans have an electrical current running through your body or any alive animal or anything. You can take your dog's paw and put it on the, on the iPad and it'll work. But uh, a pen won't work. This is a reactive type screen in which I can use my finger. So this is my finger here, uh, but I can't really write with my finger. That's one of the issues I have with the iPad or the iPhone is I really struggle to write with my finger. I can write things like hi, but if I really want to get into writing, I struggle. You know, that's a mess. So one thing that is really nice about this is I can, I, I'm using a pen with a cap on it, like literally the actual pen with the cap on it. And I can actually really write with my penmanship. That's not much better, but you get the idea. It's, it's pretty fast, and you can really write like you normally write. And I think that's one of the reasons I struggle with the iPad. I don't struggle with it, but I, I get frustrated because in the day-to-day -day business world, you're used to writing with a pen. And that's something that I, I still wish I, Apple and iPad, iPhone, those kind of things, I wish they would have used that, but they don't. Um, and that's something I, I really applaud and focus for including. And uh, then you can also go to, you know, we can, we can clear that page. You can go to highlighting. So if I wanted to bring up different things, I can use different colors. And it's actually a highlighter mentality with a chisel tip. 
all those things are built in. So it's really a great device for that. And you can see the MP invite down on the bottom uh, left here. That allows us to uh, do whiteboarding collaboration across the, uh, across the same network with different people as well. So, um, and then there's video conferencing. I'm prob I'm not going to do an actual video call because I don't know how well it's going to work. I don't want to wreck the wreck the webinar here. But um, I think you can get the idea through what we're talking about. You can do a video call really quick, and that that Abby pad that you see on the top there is actually Abby's phone that I can just call into anytime, and I can have a video call with Abby pretty much anytime we want. I'm not going to do that right now, but anybody that wants to have a virtual demo one on one, I will do that with you. That's no problem. And then. Uh, we also have the ability to put applications here in our applications menu. You can see we have various different ones. We can also minimize, and I can come right out to our Windows 7 screen. That's just like you know normal Windows. And you can see there's Fruit Ninja <laughs> we're talking about. That runs really well. Um, and then we're out to our normal Windows 7 screen, back to my PowerPoint, which uh, we can actually then do a shift F5, go back to my PowerPoint into our demo, and then we're back into our presentation. So that just really gives you an idea of the flexibility and the ease of use. And I'm even doing this right now through the webinar and allowing everybody to see those different things. So it really, really works well. Uh, anything you want to say on that, Abby? I just keep, I'll just keep talking if I don't ask you. I know. I, I just want to kind of take you through, you know, if you walk into your conference room in your company now or your classroom, you see all those different types of pieces. And one of the things that I love to point out about the Mondo Pad, because this is how people really use it, is you you have a dry erase board. We've all got them. I've got some. I have many around here, too, that used to get used. But, you know, you grab a pen, and you're in the meeting, you're coming up with great ideas, and, you know, things are just flowing. And, you know, all of a sudden, what happens? You run out of room. It, it always happens. It, you've got all these great ideas. You're trying to cram them onto this single size whiteboard. And all of a sudden, you think, OK, I'm so high tech. I'm going to grab my cell phone. I'm going to take a picture of it and email it to myself. <coughs> well, imagine if you had a whiteboard with a, an unlimited number of pages. So every time you're in that whiteboarding session, you're drawing out your ideas. Things are flowing. And, and then, boom, you run out of space. What do you do? You hit Add Page. And you can just keep adding pages. I've done up to 25 plus pages, and I don't even know what the limit is. No one has even been able to tell me if there's some sort of limit on how many pages I can add. But the really cool thing about that is that all those pages just stack up along the bottom right-hand corner. There's a little arrow. I click on it. I can see them. So I can go from page 1 to page 17, back to page 6. And the great thing is, if I'm working, it's Friday night. It's 4.30, 5 o'clock. I want to get out of the office. All I have to do is hit save. I title it whatever I want. I can come back to it whenever I want. And then I can annotate on it again. I can email those pieces out. If somebody can't make the meeting, I could email that entire set of whiteboarding sessions out. Or I can take them to go with, and save them onto a JPEG. Yeah. So yeah. one of the most simple things in the conference room is that dry erase or that whiteboard you know, or the easel with the paper over the side. And what always happens is you run out of space, but you don't run out of ideas. And with the MondoPad, you don't have to take pictures of it anymore. It's all saved for you when you're ready to go back to it. Yep, yep, and that's a big points. piece on how people are using it. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, and I, I agree with that 100%. We use that all the time. I didn't focus on it because I'm um, running out of time here today, but um, I okay. appreciate that. Uh, so what's, what's next steps? You can take a look at our website. It's MondoPad.us. Just go on the web, www.MondoPad.us. Then from there, uh, you can also come in for a live demo. We have uh, one in our office right now that you can definitely see. All the videos, everything is accurate, what you're seeing on our website. Um, you can talk to InFocus about it. Uh, there's, you can go to InFocus.com. Monopad's there. There's a, bunch, a lot of video. Everything is very accurate, and it's very, very good. Uh, but you're welcome to come in for a live demo anytime. You can also uh, to schedule a demo. You can call the office, 262-798-0909. Just hit zero, talk to Natalie, tell her you want to schedule a MondoPad demo. Um, we are going to only uh, basically be offering five of those right now. Um, and we're going to throw in a free year of uh, the Vidtel Connect software with each MondoPad purchase uh, that, that you schedule with today. So we will have five of those available right now. So if anybody calls, that is a good opportunity for you to do that. You can also send an email to sales at techsquadit.com. That link on the screen should be clickable. And uh, any Q&A, 
I have about three minutes and 25 seconds left um, on my scheduled time here, so I want to make sure that I respect anybody's Q&A. Um, I know we had a couple questions that came in, but um, I don't want to, a couple of them were already answered because they were pretty basic. Um, so if there's any questions that anybody has, uh, myself or Abby are here, or you can email them. I know I've had two emailed to me already that uh, people had some specific funding questions. We can lease this for you. We can also provide it to you on a monthly basis. Or the retail price on the Mondopad is about $6,000. And uh, then you can option to buy additional years of warranty service. Or uh, uh, you can also buy the stand. The stand is about $850. That was basically the questions that we got so far. So does anybody else have any questions that we can go over? Abby, do you have anything that you want to focus on that I didn't cover? Uh, well, you just mentioned the stand that there is a very sturdy optional cart that customers love, and about 50% of my Mondo pads sold, people buy the cart. But it does take a standard this amount. So as long as it's rated for the weight of the Mondo pad, you can wall mount it. In fact, University of, or excuse me, Arizona State University has several Mondo pads, and they're wall mounted in different parts of the campus, and it's really beautiful when you integrate it into a wall mount. So just yeah, want to point I that out too. Totally agree with that. Is a great, great point. Um, okay, I think we're good then. We don't have a whole lot of questions coming in right now. We did have a couple funding questions that I just answered, and um, I think we're good to go. So if anybody else has any questions, feel free to email them in. Uh, again, I'll, I'm going to bounce back to the, uh, to the questions or to the, to the contact information. You can contact the office at 262-798-0909. Just hit zero, talk to Natalie, or leave a message. Um, she's usually, she doesn't move much. She's sitting there right now, so... She's lurking on the call. So um, you can also email sales at techscoitit.com or you can take a look at our website and there's a contact form there, www.mondopad.us. So thanks everybody for coming today. Uh, this webinar was recorded, so it will be posted up for later viewing on mondopad.us. You can always come back to it, reference it, and uh, feel free to hit me or my sales team. Our sales uh, team leader is Brian Collins. He actually got rear-ended last night, so he's uh, kind of out of commission today. But um, you had a girl texting that branded him at about 35 miles an hour last night. So shout out to Brian. And um, thanks, everybody, again for attending. And have a great day. Thank you. Thank you, Abby.